Here I am at the uh, hive. As you can see, there's ants crawling around. <clears throat> this is upside down. So I am um, going to now put some grease. And uh, for you guys, I know you guys have dirty minds. This is grease. It's not a anything else but that. It's a, uh, look, it says grease on there. Grease. Cartridge of grease. So um, I'm going to put this in here and then uh, set it all up and let's see how it retards ants. Okay. It is set up. And uh, basically the way it works is the only way up into the hive is through these st stands here. They're on hard. Um, these nails go in pretty much all the way into this wood here so that it's pretty firm, right? Um, and the ants, as they crawl up here, I don't know if you can see that, they crawl up here to hit the, hit the oil. And I put oil on the legs too. So we'll see um, if this will keep the ants out. You know, me with my pet bottles, I'm always innovating. Here's another innovation of mine. It's called the, um, it's the uh, Beeler Lure. And um, I put some sponge with some lemon, uh, whatever is lemon, lemon whatever it is, oil on it. So um, hopefully this is going to work. There's some ants in here, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to come back and check this, put the roof on it, and um, this can now go back on the top. And I'm actually got this up a little bit so the, so the bees can actually go right, a bigger end. I'm making a bigger entrance here so when the bees come up they can go right into this thing. Easier for them to get in. Um, I was using this as a bottom board. So I put this screen on it to stop mice from getting up inside. And that's the other thing that I'm worried about. This is pretty thin, but a mouse could probably squeeze up in here. And if a mouse gets up in here, then um, basically, see look at all these little freaking ants everywhere. So we'll see. I'm going to take this one out. Put this in my car. It's got some honey on it and stuff, so... I don't know if I should put it in there or not. I think I'm going to move this one. Why do I have two? Move my queening boxes somewhere else. Look at all the the, uh, the chestnuts are now blossoming. The beetles are all in it. It's really a strong, really a strong smell. Look, these two beetles are going at it. It's, uh, the woman is eating, the males, whoop, well, just scared him off. Here's a bee. Here's a little solitary bee filling up on chestnut, chestnuts, flowers. So they just started blooming now on it. There's another beetle. The beetles really love this. Beautiful black butterfly. I don't know if you can see that black, black with white tips on it. I don't know what kind of butterfly that is. Whatever it is, is gorgeous. And I wanted to go, maybe I'm going to go for a little trek into the woods here. Because I was curious, I mean this is actually curious where this goes. And I'm curious where the bees are. This dragonfly. Can I get up in here? suit up and get up in these woods. I don't know. Alright, so I did set up my, let's put the roof back on actually, before I go off on an adventure. And um, maybe I'll make a couple lures, put them out there too. That's the plan. <coughs> Butterfly. See any bees flying around? 